So in this video, we will be discussing area between two curves. Um, I already created a separate video uh, that is discussing area under a curve. So th this video is basically related to that video. Uh, and uh, it's just that for this video, we are tackling about two curves in which to get the area of those two curves, um, we have uh, the integral of y upper minus y lower in terms of px. So basically, if you have two curves, you have to get the equation of the upper equation of the upper curve minus the lower curve. For in terms of dy, we have uh, x right minus x left, meaning to say the curve of the equation of the curve from the right minus the equation of the curve in the left. So that is the two um, equations that we have in solving area between two curves. So we have here an example, find the area bounded by the curve a squared y is equal to x cubed in the x-axis and the line x is equal to 2a. So basically, the boundaries that we have here is this equation, x-axis and x is equal to 2a. So for this, in this case, uh, we, we also need to find, again, uh, we need to substitute values for our function, which is this one. So a squared y is equal to x cubed in order for us to isolate the value of y so we have y is equal to x cubed over a squared so i mean to say this is now the uh, the function that we will be um plotting to our um cartesian plane so that being said if we let any values for that one uh, since this is in terms of a so meaning to say the constant that we need to have is also in terms of a so if i let a value of zero zero divided by any number is also zero for example i let uh, a value of a to our x and say a cubed divided by a squared that is only a for 2a as you can see x is equal to 2a this is our sign that we need to stop um, um substituting substituting values to our x now if you substitute 2a to our x here in our equation that is 2 cubed that is equivalent to 8 a cubed so meaning to say we have only 8 a i'm sorry i need to change this one 8 a so meaning to say now we have our um values for our graph so plotting these values to our graph, we have, this is A, this is 2A, A, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and the 8. This is our 8A. And this is our 2A, this is our A. So 0, 0, that is here. A, A, that is here. And 2a and 8a is somewhere here. So as you can see, as we know, the, the boundaries of our area is this curve, which is the, the points that we have here. The x-axis, meaning to say this axis here, is our, is our boundary as well. And then we also have x is equal to 2a, which is this line. Meaning to say this is one of our boundaries for our area in this curve here we have this one so now we can solve this one again in two ways via vertical strip or via horizontal strip you we just have to manipulate our equations later on so meaning to say this one is y is equal to x cubed or a squared this line is x is equal to 2a and this is our x-axis so as you can see it is already enclosed our area is already closed so if we solve this one but using vertical strip meaning to say we have the limits of 0 to a because this is in change of x uh, we are using vertical strip but if we will be using horizontal strip for this example we will be having our limits from zero to our up uh, highest point which is the 8a 
So that will be our limits. So solving our equation using vertical strip, uh, again, we have our equation or our function is equivalent to a squared y is equal to x cubed. In order for us to get our y, we have y is equal to x cubed over a squared. So this will be our function for our uh, solution. So area is equivalent now. Since this is in terms of the change in x, we have, as you can remember earlier, we have 0 to 2a. And then our function, is it, which is x cubed over a squared. And then we have our dx. Since 1 over a squared here is constant, so we can put that outside our integral sign. So we have 1 over a squared x cubed dx. That is from 0 to 2a. Now, integrating this one, we have 1 over a squared, and then integral of x cubed, that is x to the 4th over 4, that's from 0 to 2a. Now, substituting, we have uh, 2a raised to 4, all over 4a squared is equivalent to... 16 a to the fourth over 4 a squared in which we can still um, simplify this one 16 over 4 that is 4 and then a raised to 4 divided by a squared that is a squared and then square units units so meaning to say our area of our problem is 4 a squared square units for this one, again, our uh, we will be solving our equation or our problem using horizontal strip. So, re recalling our equation, we have a squared y is equal to x cubed. Now, we will be isolating our x so that we can find our equation. So, since this is raised to 3, meaning to say we can cube root both sides so that we can um, cancel cube in our x so meaning to say this is now equivalent to cube root of a squared y is equal to x so this will be our equation now for our uh, to find our area so for our area if you can remember our graph was something like this right in which this line that is equivalent to 2a and this line is our um, this one so, meaning to say, this is already bounded by two curves. So, that being said, we need to use... So, this will be our change in y since we are solving horizontally. So, that's dy. And as you can remember, if that's change in dy, meaning to say our area is equivalent to a to b and then x right minus x left dy but earlier as you as we know we didn't apply this condition because as you can see here uh there's no upper curve and there's no lower lower curve but if there is the lower curve is just zero so we did not apply this anymore the y upper minus y lower so but in this case since we are solving horizontally we can see that there's a curve in the right and there's a curve in the left so meaning to say the curve in the right is this one, where our one end of our strip lies, in which this one, it lies in x is equal to 2a, and it lies on the left curve, which is the this equation. So, meaning to say, that being said, our limits for this one is um, from 0 to 8a, as you can remember earlier, and then our x right is equivalent to 2a. So that is 2a minus our x left, which is this one. So we have cube root of a squared y. And then we have the dy. So this one, we can integrate this separately. So we have 0 to 8a, 2a dy minus 0 to 8a a squared y raised to one third dy. So integrating this one, we have um, 2a y 
minus for this one um, a squared times one third that is a raised to two thirds and then for the power formula is of this one we have y raised to one third plus one that so we have y is equal to four thirds by power formula but by four thirds and then we have our limits from zero to eight a so for this one 2a times our 8a minus uh, we just have to find the reciprocal of this one that's 3a two thirds times 8a four thirds all over four so we have two times eight we have 16 a squared minus for this one we have um, 12 a squared so that being said 16 a squared minus 12 a squared that is equivalent to 4 a squared square units so basically as you can observe um, the the so the result of our area in horizontal strip must be the same with the result of our area in in solving via vertical strip so this is now our final answer for a squared square units so for this one we have another example find the area bounded by the curve y is equal to x times x minus 1 squared the y axis in the line y is equal to 2 so basically we have here the boundaries of this one and as well as this so this will be our equation for this example and in order for us to sketch our graph we Again, we have to find uh, or we have to substitute some values to our x and y for our equation. So that being said, x and y. So if we substitute 0 to our x, the value of our y will become 0 as well. If we substitute 1 in our equation, 1 times 0 squared, that is still 0. And if we substitute 2 we also get 2 for this one and if we substitute 3 if you want but but y is is already equivalent to 2 so this is our sign to stop substituting since we already get get the y is equal to 2 in our um, points here so that being said we can already um, uh, sketch this one to our Cartesian plane so we have 1, 2, 1 and 2. So we have 0, 0 here. 1, 0 is also here. 2, 2, we have this one. And if we sketch this graph, we get um, the y-axis is our boundary. So meaning to say, this one is already bounded this is our boundary y is equal to 2 is our boundary as well meaning to say this line is our boundary this is y is equal to 2 and our our um, equation or our curve which is this one but as you can see it is not yet bounded or this is not yet closed so meaning to say we need to continue our um, we need to continue our substitu substitution here in order for us to close our area or to close the boundaries or to find the boundary of our area so perhaps we can continue by negative sign since it's going downward so if it's negative 1 the value is equal to negative 4 so we need to say if we are moving to negative 1 here the value will be negative 4 so assuming this is our negative 4 and this is our negative 1 meaning to say they meet in this um, point so if we uh, continue our graph going to that direction but we know that this part here is already enclosed Meaning to say, we are already good. We already closed our area. 
So the thing that we need to do is just to ensure that our area is really closed. So that being said, um, we can solve this one using vertical strip. But you can also solve this one in horizontal strip. But as you can see, um, from our equation, it's very hard for us to isolate the value of our x. So it's better to just solve it using vertical strip. So if we solve it using vertical strip, our limits will be equivalent to 0 until this part, which is that is 2. So our limits will be from 0 to 2. So I have here, I have redrawn here our graph earlier, but in a short size. So as you can see, we have the upper curve and the lower curve. So, so area is equal to 0 to 2. Our limits is from 0 to 2. And then the upper curve or upper line is equal to 2 minus the lower, which is x times x minus 1 squared in terms of dx. So integrating this one, we have 2, 0 to 2, dx minus integral of 0 to 2, x times x minus 1 squared, dx. So we have here 2x, this is equivalent to 2x minus this one. Um, we need to expand this one first. So we have x squared minus 2x plus 1, we have the dx. And again, this is equivalent to x cubed minus 2x squared plus x. And then we have our dx. In rating, we have 2x minus x cubed, that is x to the fourth over 4, minus 2x cubed over 3, minus x squared over 2. And then we have our limits from 0 to 2. So substituting our limits, we have 2 times 2 minus 2 to the 4th over 4. So this should be positive since negative times negative is positive. And continuing with our substitution, we have 2 times 2 raised to the cube over 3 plus 2 squared over 2. So that is equiv minus 0 with, for the the lower limits in which all of this has a variable so meaning to say that's all equal to zero now if you calculate this one this is equivalent to 10 over 3 square units so meaning to say our equation or the final answer is equivalent to 10 over 3